Okay guys, um, I'm putting, doing this little video for um, for a comment that was made on Keek by uh, Dean Kuzan. So uh, thanks Dean, because this, this is probably um, quite quite a simple thing that will catch people out. I know it's caught me out a few times, but it sort of explains... If you understand why the numbers are different for what you ask for, then it prepares you for building your project. Um, this, What you see on the screen here is a, a list of timber sizes which is in a booklet that my timber supplier produces. It's available on the counter and I'm hoping most timber suppliers will be the same. But certainly it will help you understand why what you ask for isn't what you get as a piece of timber. So um, this is a list of um, planks and joinery timber um, in the various qualities. Now Premier and Select are the different grades, so whether it's been sorted for knots and things like that, or whether it's a really nice piece of timber, it's basically whether you select it yourself or whether it's already been pre-selected by the um, by the firm. So what I'm going to ask for is a piece of timber which is five inches by one inch. Now, because we are metric in the UK, what you actually get is the nearest metric equivalent, usually in 25 mil increments. So. A 5 by 1 will be 125 millimetres by 25 millimetres. Um, now that's not 5 inches because, um, because it's not a straight com exact conversion. It's just the nearest equivalent. Um, so what you ask for is a piece of 5 by 1. What they'll actually look for is a piece of timber which has got a nominal size. Now the nominal size is how that piece of timber was cut at the mill, sawn, rough sawn, um, to 25 mil by 125 mil. So here it is on here. Now we want joinery timber that's been planed and squared off on the edges um, and is nice, ready to work with. And that needs to be planed. So when it's planed, you lose those dimensions. So then you get a finished size uh, for that piece of timber, which is 20.5 millimeters by. 120 millimeters. Now, if we wanted a finished piece of timber that was 125 millimeters wide, it would actually be too small. So we'd need to go to the next size up, and that would actually be 20.5 mil by 144. So it'd be quite a bit longer. We'd have to cut it down. Now, that's the reason why you get different dimensioned timber to what you've asked for. So actually. 20.5mm is closer to 3 quarters of an inch at 19mm than it is 1 inch and it's just because they've planed it off and made it smooth ready for you to go to. It's not something to get hung up about but if you actually do want, say you want a piece of skirting board or a piece of moulding um, to match something existing, you could ask for uh, a piece of timber that was too high and then you'd have to cut it down to match the height of your existing um, timber. And that, that's why. It's, it's basically, it's cut to one size and it's planed and reduced to the other size. Now, with this kind of timber, you're also looking at length. And again, the, the same rule applies. Mostly people ask for timber in the metre. So you might want two metres of this timber, this five for one. So if you went in and asked for a piece of timber that was uh, five by one by two metres... What you'd actually get in the metric would be the closest metric equivalent. And normally they're sold at 0.3 metre lengths. So when you go into your box stores and see the, the timbers, it's all pre-cut in length. That's why they're funny lengths, they're 1.8 metres or the 2.4 metres. They're merely multiples of 0.3 metres, which kind of goes back in time because that's about a foot. So you basically, what you would have asked for was three foot or four foot of... 5 by 1, what you're, what you're actually getting is, if you ask for 4 foot, 1.2 metres of 125 by 25 as a nominal sawn size, and then what they'll do is they'll cut 1.2 metres off a length of timber which is actually 120 mil by 20.5 metres. I hope that explains things. Um, if not, Comment or keek or email me um, to get it um, clean, cleared up. But um, if you understand why you get the differences, that will arm you to ask for the right thing. Because there's nothing worse than asking for five for one, thinking you've got it, getting it home, measuring it, and it's all too small. So um, 
Hopefully that will lead to better projects. Let me know if it doesn't.